This video shows how to model and map a DevOps change velocity pipeline to Azure pipeline jobs. DevOps change velocity automates the change process by letting developers pause the pipeline to automatically create change requests, collecting DevOps data from the Azure DevOps pipeline and other DevOps tools, and applying policies for the change request. From the Visual Studio Marketplace, download the ServiceNow DevOps extension for Azure DevOps. After installing the extension, you can establish a service connection. This lets Azure DevOps send data to your ServiceNow instance. Now let's map the pipeline to an app in DevOps. Tracking is enabled automatically, and we can check the tracking details here. Everything looks good. So now it's time to set up change control in Azure DevOps for the deploy pipeline. To do this manually, open Azure DevOps and click Pipelines. Here, you can choose the pipeline to edit, which opens the pipeline's YAML file. The YAML file contains various jobs within the pipeline as well as tasks that are connected to the ServiceNow DevOps application. To add the ServiceNow DevOps Server Change Acceleration task, first, select the Deploy stage of the pipeline. Next, click Search Tasks and search for the task. Now we can add our instance's service connection in the ServiceNow Endpoint field, and then add Change Request Details. In the Change Request Details field, copy the sample JSON code and edit it to the specifications needed for the pipeline. These specifications include optional attributes, the change requester, the requester name, and start and end dates. Finally, we'll click Add. Now the task has been added to the Azure DevOps pipeline, and you can run the pipeline. The ServiceNow DevOps extension also lets you enable automatic change control for Azure DevOps pipelines. The pipeline will go through three stages, build, test, and deploy. Once the deploy stage begins, the pipeline will pause until we approve it. To approve the pipeline, we'll navigate back to the DevOps change workspace. And open the change record. Let's click the approvers tab and select the state of the change request. Next, we'll change the state to Approved and click Save. From here, the pipeline moves to the next approval stage and we'll repeat the same steps as before. After we save the change, we can update the pipeline to the Implement state. Once saved, the pipeline will resume the Deploy stage. We can also automate this process by creating an approval policy. Now the DevOps Change Velocity Pipeline is mapped to Azure DevOps to automate the change process. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.